Okay, so this is Regatta OS, which is Linux with a big focus on gaming. So you can see on the bottom taskbar here, we've got an app store, but we've also got this bit here, Regatta OS Game Access. And if you click on that, all sorts of things show up. Ubisoft Connect, Rockstar Launcher, GOG Galaxy, Epic Game Store, EA App, and Battle.net. So we've got really good support for games. But the good thing about this is they also support Windows games as well. So whether it uses Wine, or whether it uses Proton with Steam, then it's a pretty seamless experience. And when you click on something that isn't already installed, it automates the whole process. Uh, so if I click on the Epic Game Store, you can see it's just asking me to log in. Uh, I've already logged into various different services, which I'll show in a minute. But also through the various different apps, it also shows you games you can download and play. Obviously, it's going to be dependent on the PC you're using it on. I'm using this on a Geekon Mini PC, which is a, an 11th gen i7. So there's not, not every game it's going to be able to play, but it's still pretty decent. So if we close that down and just press the Windows key, you can see various different things come up. So we've got a Regato OS store. If we do a search for, say, emulators, it comes up with a load of emulators you can install. So Snares. We've got the Switch emulator in there still. Uh, PS3, RetroArch, PPSSPP. I also downloaded and installed a PS2 emulator uh, just using this system. So just clicked on it, clicked on install, and uh, it's ready to play, and I'll show that in a minute. But it is just a really nice experience. So it's a great Linux experience because it's using KDE Plasma. And this is Plasma 6, so we get the cube option for our multiple desktops, which I always really like. So if you pick another desktop and, say, launch something like Steam, and so I can access and install all my games. I've got Windows snapping as well, so I can snap to the left or snap to full screen. So a really nice desktop environment to be able to play around with. Uh, again, Windows C gives me the cube and I can switch back to whatever desktop I wanted. There's a controller one here. I think that's just configuration for control. Yeah, so all sorts of configuration for controllers. We've got various settings in here. If we pop the web browser on one of the other desktops, so this one, and it works very nicely as Linux does, nice and lightweight operating system. And you get all the usual extras with KDE Plasma so you can connect your mobile phone. I've always liked the way it handles when you plug in extra storage. Also, you can, on the main screen, if you start typing, so if I start typing themes, you can see it comes up with themes, and you can just launch things from there. Or you can press the Windows key and go straight in and launch things from there. Let's show uh, how the installation works. So if I shut this down, because I've got Windows 11 pre-installed on this mini PC, so if I press F7 on boot, you can see I can go into Windows Boot Manager, and boot into Windows in the normal way. But if I shut that down and reboot it again, pressing F7 for the boot manager, I can switch into Regatta OS. And it's a terabyte drive on this computer and I've given it 250 gig for Windows and I've given it 750 gig for Linux. But the installer doesn't work with all of my PCs. So if I shut this down, pop a USB stick in, this has got Regatta OS on it. And again, F7. That will let me pick my Samsung drive. So this is it running from the USB stick, but if I click on the install the Regatta OS, so this part on my N100 and my 13th gen i9 computers didn't work. Uh, it wouldn't let me select anything here, so I could select British English and and try and carry on and it wouldn't let me occasionally I could get it to work by maximizing and minimizing but on this PC and also my little melee mini PC it's worked absolutely fine so it depends on the device but uh, if you can get it working it is excellent and in fact if I show the installer so it gives you the option of install alongside or completely replace it or replacing a partition I did the install alongside and it just gives you a slider to be able to say how much you want to give to Windows and how much you want to give to Linux. And just fully automates the process. Really, really nice experience. So let's try a bit of Steam first. Let's put it on a new desktop and just start typing Steam. And I've installed a couple of games on here. So in my library. So here's Portal, and I think I had to change this. Uh, so we go to Properties and compatibility. Oh no, I didn't have to. So this is a Linux native game. And if I hit play, 
here we go. As you can see, it's working fine. Nice and smooth. And we're out. So we try something else. I had Tomb Raider on here. Now, was this a Windows game? I think it might have been. Oh, no, it wasn't. So if you want to install a Windows game, so say, for instance, BMX, the game available for Windows, you'll see that you can't install it. But if you right-click the game, hit Properties, you'll see that it comes up with this menu. Go to Compatibility and force the use of specific Steam Play. That's all you have to do. Just close that out, and then you can hit Install, and that will install the game. But let's try a bit of Tomb Raider. Let's just go straight in without changing any options. Not sure if I need to lower anything for this device. So you can see that's working fine. Oh, we've got a deer here. And she's just mentioned something to eat. Oh dear. That's definitely working absolutely fine. I have my bow and arrow now, so I can find some lunch. But I won't, uh, I won't show that. And let's have a look at those settings. Yeah, 1080. Uh, quality, normal. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so let's quit out of that. And this, I think it had to install a different component, but it just did it on its own. It was Everything was pretty automated. You just click on the service. If it felt it needed something, it would download it, and then you sign in in the normal way and use it as if you're using it on a Windows device. And you can see it started Wine, which is the compatibility layer. So it's Windows games, but on Linux. And again, none of this needed to be set up. And you can even buy games through here. Um, so it just works, again, as, it, as if you're playing it on Windows. So if I go to the library, I've already got two games installed. Let's try a bit of Trials Fusion, which is just a demo. And this one's running at 720 because I did find that it didn't work as well in 1080. But the controller is all working with the Xbox controller. It's working absolutely fine. So continue career. And as you can see, oh, it's a bit choppy actually. But uh, again, if you've, if you've got a powerful enough device to play it, then you won't suffer from that. Has it skipped back to 1080? Yeah, it's on 1080 again. So, oh, and it does let me go even lower. Okay, we'll try 1280 by 720. And yeah, everything else is low, that's fine. So let's go back in and try that again. Oh, that's better, that makes all the difference. So it's not choppy at all now. That feels as it should do, and I've made the jump. It is an enjoyable game. Yeah, and it's not struggling even though, you know, the, uh, the environment's got a lot bigger and everything. It's still coping with that fine. Right, let's try some other things. So I've got Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm not sure, I haven't tried this yet. Okay, so it seems to have loaded up fine. It was like really nice Assassin's Creed games. Right, what's it set to? So 720 graphics quality. Oh, there you go, it's on high at the moment. Let's go for low and F to apply. The faces look great still, even on low quality. Can I go up? Oh yeah, we're up. Oh, we've got a chase on. Yeah, definitely slows down a bit when you get a bit of action going on. Where am I going now? Oh yeah. So what else have we got on here? I like the way when it's cubed, look, it still plays the video. It's really nice and I like the way you can you know, see the back through the other side are so impressive. And again, this store works in the same sort of way, so you can basically download and buy games through this. 
but let's try the EA app because I've got a couple of games on here I haven't tried for ages. In fact, Command and Conquer, I don't think I've ever tried it um, because I think I bought it and I didn't have it. It came as a bundle and I didn't have a PC that was powerful enough to play it. And they appear on the bar here just as they would with Windows, you know, so like Steam as well, so you can launch games from that. So that's also launched with Wine, as you can see, that's popped up. Okay, so Command and Conquer didn't launch. Let's try a bit of Mirror's Edge. So it's installed and it's working and everything on the lower settings, but unfortunately, uh, it definitely needs a separate graphics card. You can see that it's really struggling with this as we take out this guy. <laughs> Go on then. It's definitely more about running away and avoiding people, but we'll give it a try. Oh, is that going to do it? Oh, nearly. Yeah, pretty much. It is such a cool game. Really, really good perspective and everything. So you can see it, it's, it's somewhat playable, but it is a very low refresh rate. So let's try the Epic Game Store. You can see I can right click on here and go straight to my library. And if we click on installed, yeah, let's try a bit of GTA 5. I'm just following a mountain bike. I'm overtaking trucks. This guy's quite fast. Let's overtake him though. A bit close. So I know there's a motorbike there. Yeah, this is actually all right. This feels fine. What's that car there? I oh, know. I thought it was going to be a really fast one. Now it's a damaged one. Let's head down on the sand. Well, oh, let's grab one of those lifeguards trucks. They look like they'd be pretty good to drive. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this is actually all right. I'm so surprised. And remember this and remember this is without a graphics card or oh, is that going to be what do I want lifeguards truck or the four wheel drive that he's just left I'm going to have a lifeguard truck oh. oh okay <laughs> I'm going to see if I can do it Okay, it takes too long to steal it. Unless I try again. Oh yeah, got it that time. See how well it handles on the sand. Look at the pier, Santa Monica Pier. Oh, we can probably head up there. Are we too wide for that? Ooh, struggling. Oh, we're gonna get ah, oh, we're gonna get stuck. We're gonna have to go a bit faster there. Let's go full speed from the water. But I want to make sure that I don't jump over it. Oh, that's gonna struggle to get through there. I oh, know we're in. And just have a little look around. Yeah, really happy with that. So, exit game. Exit to Windows. Obviously not, exit to Linux. Oh, and it's changed the resolution of my desktop to 720 uh, because the game changed it to that. But that's fine. Uh, oh, in fact, no, let's go back to 1080 because I think Stubbs the Zombie will probably run at 1080. Right, let's try it. The launch is pretty quick. Didn't seem to have to do anything either. Yeah, this is definitely working fine. No issues there, nice and smooth at 1080. Everything's definitely working as it should be. Happy with that. Can't really show much because it's a bit gruesome. See if I could just scare these guys off rather than attack them. Why are they not scared? I'm a zombie. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's definitely working. Happy with that. Right, let's try some emulation with PS2. So I've got it down on the taskbar here, so let's launch that and try a bit of Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX. So all the menus are lovely and fast. This is running at two and a half times resolution as well. Yeah, everything is lovely and smooth, exactly as it should be. 
no problem with PS2 emulation. So let's quit out of that. Or leave it running. I, do, I just love the cube bit of it. So a great operating system and I'm really surprised at how well it works with all these Windows games and Linux games. It's such a nice experience being able to search through games, being able to buy games for various different systems. Uh, just, just so impressive. I can't believe they've got Linux running this well with Windows games and so seamless as well. You really don't feel like you're going between systems like I have done in the past. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.